She came from Nairobi, Kabul, Texas. And at no point before you signed the dotted line in ink did you stop to ask her what she thinks. We are angry and rightfully so, our hearts are heavy, so please don't take us lightly. They say you're on the menu if you're not seated at the table. Does this sound familiar? We are running out of time, so if you deny us the freedom we deserve, we'll just find a way to take it. And this table that you refuse to invite us to, it's time we started to shake it. We chanted her body, her choice, but it was your pen and your voice. Her body is so much more than just a canvas for policy. Why is her autonomy something you time and time again omit? Why are you policing our bodies for crimes they did not commit? Love is a verb as much as it is a noun. And unless my sisters are in the room, we won't be left with so much as the right to a pronoun. The dominoes are falling and I'm scared of what else they'll hit on their way down. See, ever since I was an adolescent, and even before that, you taught me that every successful man has a woman behind him, never beside him, so let me now remind him that he never actually intended on giving the woman a platform so she can shine. He thought it would be enough to just give her airtime for some time. It's time we face it. We can no longer give you any more of our time just so that you can waste it. So to reiterate, in exchange for my vote, I don't want notes. I just want change. We're tired of this dance. Two steps forward, 50 years back, I am young, a woman, and black, so you can imagine. Everything that my freedom is hanging on to is under attack. I want to live my life to the fullest. So understand that asking a woman why she didn't just close her legs makes about as much sense as asking a man who's been shot why he didn't try to catch the bullet. So I want little girls everywhere to know that among her sisters and her brothers, there is no one who is more equal than another.